Right guys, so today I'm bringing you a team of the season for our NZ player review. I'm almost done with the Serie A team of the season, well most of them anyway, all the ones that I kind of wanted to get done. Obviously I'm not going to get Pogba and stuff done just because um, they are expensive and I'm not going to buy them just now as they just came out in the community one. So I might buy them next week and do a review then when they're a bit cheaper but anyway guys here is Florenzi he has a very 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 solid card uh, he's got 84 pace on it 83 dribbling 81 shooting 74 defending 77 passing and 80 physical he's got one goal and got zero assists in eight games it wasn't the which I didn't really like about him he didn't seem to get involved in games as much as I as I was hoping he's got high high work rates as well which isn't too good he's got 91 agility 90 balance 85 jumping 84 acceleration 86 uh, sorry 86 acceleration uh, he's got 83 shot power there as well 81 short pass 81 finishing 84 crossing and 87 volleys three star weak foot three star skill moves high high work rates right footed you can play right wing left the wing or centre mid but for some reason he's a right back in his team of the season, team of the season card and no specialities or traits and what I have to say about this guy is his position does not suit him he he shouldn't be a right back I know he's probably played there in real life and that's why he's there but his card just does not suit right back at all this would be such a good card at right wing at right wing this would be one of the best right wing cards I've used I can just tell by the way he plays that he should not be playing um in that position like look for that for a goal that was the one goal I scored with and what a shot that is no right back can do that apart from him look at this just in right in the corner stunning shot from him he did make a few good tackles a few good uh, passes to clear the defense but he wasn't that impressive overall he just that's all the clips I could have I don't even have that many clips of him um, a wee run here which he eventually lost the ball on but this guy would be so much better as a right wing card it is unreal he's so inconsistent in this position um, and his position is just really really bad overall but the positives I suppose are his pace he is quite pacey um, which is which is a good thing I suppose so as you can see we've got the positives now he's the pacey his strength and of course his shooting with that shot I think we only took one shot with him and it went in so that's pretty nice to see um, but he was fast his 84 pace did show his strength as well 80 physical uh, that could definitely show as well as he was when they were ball back a wee bit and his shooting from that long shot shot we did in fact score what a goal that was and then we're going to the negatives he is inconsistent as hell man he just loses everything um he just well it's not that he loses everything he just some games he's terrible and he loses the ball all the time and some games he he can play pretty well um but he just, he just is inconsistent for his position. If he played on right wing, he wouldn't be not be anywhere near as inconsistent. And also his position, of course, because he should be a right wing or a right mid, etc. Imagine that card at that right wing or right mid position. It would be so much better, um, but he's at right back, which is kind of annoying. But anyway, guys, that is going to be the end of the video. I'm going to give him 7.5 out of 10. If you have enjoyed the video, smash that like button. 15 likes would be insane. Go check out my new series. It's called Battleships V5. I've got face cam and that on that, and I'm doing it with other YouTubers. That was out yesterday so go make sure to go check that out and yeah it's been your boy MGQ Gaming here bye bye